Hey, do you think Christmas is this year? Not this year. I mean, he's... He should... Yeah, he can't play tomorrow. <coughs> and good afternoon. We are live from the uh, Kerr Center in Ada, Oklahoma. It's Silo Rebels basketball today in the area tournament as the uh, Rebels take on the uh, Henrietta Knights in today's uh, consolation bracket uh, contest. The uh, Rebels uh, stayed alive uh, last Saturday night with that dramatic win, or Saturday afternoon with that uh, dramatic win over uh, Lone Grove back uh, in the uh, regional consolation championship and made it to this contest here in the area tournament. I'm Kevin Farr along with my main man, Asher. We'll say hi, Asher. Hi. Oh, go in. Hi. Yep. So Asher along today as he'll handle the um, commentary and uh, also uh, camera duties as we get set for uh, this one. It's going to be the uh, Rebels and the Henrietta Knights. Silo comes in 18 and 10 on the uh, season for Coach Bobby Wild squad. Henrietta 16 and 8 as they lost to Prague on Saturday night in the finals of the uh, regional to uh, drop into this uh, contest in the loser's bracket. 63-49, that loss to Prague. They defeated Holdenville in the, uh, their district tournament by just one point, 44-43, and then Kellyville 54-37 to start the uh, regional. Rebels lost to uh, Lone Grove in the, uh, first in the uh, district finals, and then uh, they've rebounded, knocked off uh, Marietta, 90 to 41, then uh, had a 30 point win over uh, Comanche before winning that one point thriller over Lone Grove. Set for the uh, starting lineups here as the uh, Rebels being introduced. They will start Carter Parker, a six foot senior. Also, uh, Connor Cordell, the six foot senior, in the uh, starting lineup as well. Charlie Gardner, the six one junior. And then uh, Connor Proctor, the uh, six foot senior, and the final starter for the uh, Rebels. As usual is Hayden Roberts, the uh, 6'1 freshman for the uh, Rebels. Wearing the uh, blue uniforms with the uh, red trim. And uh, they will be uh, the visiting team on the uh, scoreboard here. And they will be on the, uh, in the, uh, down to our uh, right on that bench. As Henrietta being introduced. Kind of a glare here on the uh, court at the uh, Kerr Center, but uh, pretty nice facility, Asher, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice here. Well, Asher likes the place. Not really the height, but we're kind of up high here. Here at the uh, Kerr Center, so. As the uh, introduced uh, Knights, they uh, start Hunter Gobinus Jr. Also in the uh, starting lineup, Skyler uh, Grinch. Greenhaw, a uh, sophomore. Jordan Short, he's a senior. He's the uh, tallest player on the uh, court. Austin Palmer, a senior, as well as the final starter, Nick Hudson. And he is a junior. And we are set to go. And Short's jumping it up against Gardner in the opening tap control by Henrietta. Knights start offensively first in the uh, front court as... Uh, Nick Hudson with the basketball. Rebels in a man-to-man -man defense to begin. Glad you're along with us on SiloRebels.tv here this afternoon as the shot inside is no good. Rebound tapped around, ends up in the hands of Connor Proctor. Here come the uh, Rebels for their first offensive possession of the game. Parker pass out back out front to uh, Proctor, nearly stolen as the uh, Knights really extending the defense out. Gives the Garner on the uh, right side. Looks like... Uh, Henrietta in a uh, zone, but extending that zone. Here's uh, Gardner just outside the free throw line. That shot is no good from 16. Rebound out to uh, Henrietta. Knights bring it up into the uh, front court. Three on the way from the left wing. That one is no good. Rebound tapped around. Gardner had it in his hands, but was poked away, but ends up in the hands of uh, Hayden Roberts. Rebels will have it. And here they uh, come in the uh, front court. Down to the uh, baseline. The shot is up. Uh, three from the corner. It's no good from uh, Roberts. Rebound off to Henrietta. Both teams cold here to start with. This is uh, not a great shooting background here at the Kerr Center. 
tough shooting uh, area if you're not used to it. Here's a three on the way. It's no good. That one's long. From the uh, Knights. Bringing it down is uh, Silo after the rebound. Cordell feeds Proctor in the lane. Goes up. Shot. It's good. From 12 feet, Connor Proctor with the first bucket of the game. Silo up 2-0. We've played a minute and a half here. At the Kerr Center. Pass down underneath. Now double team comes as uh, that's Palmer inside. He's called for a travel as the double team came. Roberts came over to help out defensively. Silo up 2-0 here. Apologize for that glare on the court. Uh, can't really help it here as the uh, windows, sunlight shining in from the uh, window. It's just that time of day with the uh, glare on the uh, midcourt area. Here's a uh, pass into the corner. Three from Carter Parker. It's good. Bang ring. Carter Parker with the first three of the game, and uh, Sano up 5 nothing. Somebody finally found the range. Parker's first shot falls, and Silo leads in the uh, contest. Down with it for uh, Henrietta, and there's a travel called as Greenhaw, coming off a screen, started to drive but took an extra step. Silo with the first five points. They've got the basketball back. 5.35 to go here in the opening quarter. Rebels trying to move on to uh, Friday here in the area and face the winner of tonight's Losers Bracket uh, contest between uh, Hugo and Oak Mulgee. Here's Proctor, right wing. Gives it to uh, Roberts, who dribbles back out toward the uh, top of the key. Now to Gardner. Rebels will reset things. Pass down, and Rebels being patient offensively here with a five-point lead in the basketball. Pass off. There's Parker three on the way. is no good from the right wing, and the rebound is off to Henrietta. As pulling down the board that time was uh, Austin Palmer. Knights down with it. They'll work it left wing. Drive to the baseline by Greenhaw, and there's a foul called on Proctor. A bump on the baseline. Connor Proctor picks up the uh, first foul of the uh, contest. And Henrietta inbounds. 4.41 to go here in the opening quarter. Dribbling back out front is Greenhaw with the basketball. Now it gives off. Three on the way. That one is badly short. Hudson misfires. Henrietta having a tough time shooting the basketball. As kind of expected here. Here's a drive inside. Kicking it out. It's Gardner, and Proctor's going to be called for a travel. As he thought about the shot and then started to drive, but called for a step there. Rebels give it right back. Been stuck on a 5-0 lead here for a little bit. Pass down underneath. Going up with the uh, shot, and it's no good, but... I believe Gardner is going to be called for a foul. Nick Hudson on the shot inside. And that foul is going against Charlie. Both teams trying to just get their uh, legs under them here to start this one. So Hudson at the free throw line. Two shots for Henrietta, and that one is no good. It is, if you have not been in this place before, it is, uh, it is a tough environment shooting the basketball. The curve center, as that shot is no good as well. He missed them both. Gardner has the rebound. Charlie dribbles up toward half court. Now he's bumped and fouled. Be the first Henrietta foul. That's picked up by Hunter Gobin, the uh, junior. Nearing the midway point of this first quarter, Kevin Farr, along with my man Asher on uh, commentary, as that pass left side, oh, almost turned over, saved by uh, Gardner, and he drives in and it's foul. Charlie on the drive, he's going to shoot free throws. The Rebels' top free throw shooter. Yeah, and uh, he's going to the line. We'll see how Charlie does here. Like I said, uh, it's tough. Uh, Shooting background, but uh, he's see if he's got the touch, and he rattles that one home. Wasn't clean, but was on target. 
6-0 of the uh, Rebel lead. Now another one coming up. And that was too hard off the uh, back iron. Rebound control by uh, Palmer for Henrietta. Rebels leading by six now. Here's a drive inside. Kicking back off right wing to Palmer. Palmer's going to dribble back out toward the top. Looks for help. Gives off to Hudson. Greenhawk has been their uh, main scorer the last couple weeks for the uh, Knights. He's working down on the baseline. Calling for the ball. Can't get it to him. Shot outside on the three is no good. Rebound long to uh, Hayden Roberts. Proctor's going to dribble it down this time. Pass to Cornell out front. Here comes the double team. Looks for help. Gives it to Parker. Drives down the baseline. Open lane to the basket. He scores. Nice move as he uh, switched hands in midair and lays it up with the left hand. Man, we are going. We are doing good. They don't have the greatest offense, but. Well, timeout uh, Henrietta after uh, Sato takes an 8-0 lead. Coach uh, Bunyan Johnson of the uh, Knights wants to talk about it. As the uh, Rebels controlling things here to start as Henrietta is ice cold from the uh, field. Here in the early going. 3.07 to go, first quarter. Silo with an 8 nothing lead. Trying to stay alive here in the uh, Class 3A area tournament. Move on to tomorrow. Will Perez has checked in the contest for uh, Henrietta. He is a freshman. Greenhaw has it out front. Gives off left side there. As Parker extending the defense against Gobin. Now back out to Greenhaw. Proctor on him. Dribbles left side. Pulls up. Shot is no good. But there's the rebound by Perez. Misses the putback from underneath. And the rebound is out of bounds. Going to be off of Charlie Gardner. It's going to stay with Henrietta. Inbound goes to Greenhaw. He's got Cordell on him this time. Now the Rebels are going to switch off the screen. Gremlin inside. Now kick back out. There's Greenhaw for three, and it's no good. Another miss from the outside. Proctor pulls down the rebound, brings it up court. Gives the Gardner. Charlie starts the drive. Kick out. Oh, Cordell's call for a travel. Oh, Rebels had three of those here, and they're only going. Just took a step before the dribble. So they give it right back to Henrietta. Had a chance to go up double digits once again. Greenhaw dribbles right side off the of screen. As they run a weave out front to Perez. Now a three on the way from the corner, and that one is no good. And just Knights can't buy a bucket. Rebels need to make uh, some hay with this and extend the lead even more. Parker for three. It's good. Bangerang. From the left wing, Carter Parker, eight points here early on, and Sato leads 11 0. It's been all Rebels thus far. Greenhaw dribbles down to the baseline, cut off, double team there on the block. Now back out, step back three. It's up, it's no good. And yanking down the rebound is Parker. Rebels have a chance at more points. Minute 22 to go, first quarter. Parker. Ooh, rifles a pass to Gardner, cutting to the basket and scores. That was a bullet pass from Parker. And Gardner scores on the cut, 13-0. Here's a driving shot, is no good. Roberts has the rebound. Rebels continue with the shutout. A minute to go in the first period. Drive, oh, a pass to the basket, and Roberts scores on the drive. Rebels. Got the offense working here in the first quarter. They lead 15-0 to start. And a steal by Gardner. Here comes Charlie. He's taking it all the way. Coast to coast. Oh, that one left it short. There was a lot of contact, but no call. Greenhawk comes away with the loose ball. Takes it down. Pull up just outside the free throw line. That shot is no good. Gardner yanks it down with one hand. Rebels, 30 seconds to go in the uh, first period. And Coach Wild, what's the final shot? Leading 15 to nothing. Here's a pass off to uh, Parker. 
Now back to uh, Gardner. Ten seconds to go. Feed inside. Parker cutting to the basket. He was fouled and is going to the line. Nine seconds to go in the first quarter. You couldn't have scripted it any better if you're Coach Bobby Wow. Man, they can't do nothing. Well, the Knights are ice cold. Got to get adjusted to these lines. Now there's uh, multiple lines on the uh, court. And the uh, Rebels only uh, get to the uh, right stripe there on the free throw as Parker's free throw is no good. Baxter Thomas and Case and Taylor are going to check in for the final nine seconds to give uh, Gardner a rest. Along with Proctor. Next one is up and gets the roll. Parker hits the second of two. He's got nine in the corner. Sada with a 16-0 lead. See what the uh, Knights do with this final possession. Here's a shot up outside. That one is no good. Another three missed by Hudson, and it's a shutout for one quarter. 16 to nothing. Salo up on Henrietta after one quarter. The Rebels dominate the first period. A 16-0 lead. I don't know if anybody would ever believed you if you said uh, the Rebels were going to throw a shutout in the first quarter, Asher. Yeah. Man, imagine they came back. Well, it's been, I mean, Henrietta has uh, been ice cold from the field, but uh, Silo also has not given up any second chance opportunities. They have been outstanding on the defensive glass here in the uh, first quarter. And uh, that's helped uh, build that 16 nothing league. No second chance opportunities for Henrietta in that first quarter. A dominant first period for the uh, Rebels. We'll see if they can keep it up here in the second quarter. Rebels are going to send out. Let's see. It's going to be Daxter Thomas along with uh, Connor Proctor, Connor Cornell, Charlie Garner, and Kaysen Taylor to begin this second period. Rebels will have it in the uh, front court. Offensive first possession. Taylor has it. Left corner. Pass back out. Uh, and inside to uh, Park Proctor, who is fouled at the free throw line. Taylor was a big spark plug off the uh, bench in the uh, regional tournament. Had a couple of uh, big three-point runs for the uh, Rebels coming off the uh, bench. Here's a pass inside. Gardner gives to... Uh, Daxter now to feeds to Cordell, who scores underneath. Cordell's first points of the uh, contest. Rebels with just tremendous ball movement there. They lead 18-0. 7.35 to go in the first half. See how long they can maintain this shutout. Oh, near steal by Cordell, and he's going to be called for a foul. on the. Uh, but uh, that was a dangerous pass from Jacob Nail, who just checked in. Cordell picks up his first. Here's a drive. Perez gives off there to uh, Short. Now feeds Greenhaw, cutting the basket, and he scores. 7.07 to go. The Rebels shut him out for nine minutes. Greenhaw finally gets the first points for Henrietta, and the Knights are on the board. Silo down with it offensively here. Got to keep the foot on the throttle as Proctor pulls up with the shot. It's no good. Rebound ends up in the hands of Taylor, who scores inside. Nice job on the offensive glass there by Case and Taylor. Scores on the putback. 20 to 2 is the Rebel lead. Henrietta works it in the uh, front court. Perez closely guarded. Now gives it off there to uh, Jordan Short. Dribbles back out toward the uh, timeline. Now he'll penetrate inside. Offensive foul. Daxter takes a charge. Everything going right for the Rebels. 20 to 2, 6.22 to go first half. 
Second foul there charged on uh, Jordan Short in the contest. Here's Taylor right side. Penetrates, free throw line, goes up with a shot. That may have been partially blocked. Gets the rebound, goes back up, can't get it. Daxter has the rebound. Thomas fires back out on the pass to Gardner. Now feeds court, uh, to Proctor, cutting to the basket. And we got a whistle, and uh, there's going to be a foul called before the shot. Rebels are doing a great job on ball movement on the offensive end. Inbounds pass goes to Gardner out on the right wing. Starts to penetrate, kick back out. Proctor trying to three, and it's no good. Thomas has the rebound. Daxter dribbles it back out. Rebels just dominating the glass. Feed inside. Gardner is fouled and with shoot free throws. Man, they're just taking all those fouls for us. Uh, they, there's been some great passing thus far, Asher. There's been some tremendous passing by the Rebels. Finding the open man consistently. And Gardner at the line, shooting two. He makes the first. Second trip to the line. He's got a chance to make it a 20-point lead for Sato here in the first half. Cordell and Taylor will check out. Parker is back in along with Roberts. Next one from Charlie, and it's good. It is a 20-point lead, 22-2. to two. Domination by the Rebels thus far. Not much more you can say about it. As uh, out with it is Palmer. Here's Greenhoff, steps back, shot on the way is no good, missed the three. Gardner has the rebound. Henrietta can't get the threes down. Rebels dominating thus far. I mean, uh, I think the Knights just in shock the way this has started. 22 to 2 down. And Sala with the basketball again. Thomas, now the pass goes inside Proctor. Back to Roberts on the right side. He's going to be called for a travel before the dribble. It's been about the only uh, down spot for the uh, Rebels. I think that's five turnovers for him. Working down the court. Greenhaw's going to try a three this time from the right wing, and it's no good. Roberts has the rebound. Knights got to be nearing 0 for 10 from downtown. Here's Parker's three from the corner. It's no good. Fight for the rebound, and uh, the Knights are going to come away with it. Nail, a little bit taller than Thomas. Here's a near steal by Proctor as he sails out of bounds, but ends up in the hands of Henrietta, and Greenhaw is going to drain the three. Proctor went for the steal, came up empty. First three-pointer for the Knights here. Cuts the lead to 17. Gardner has it out front, 4.20 to go here in the first half. Parker, now to Gardner, right or on the uh, left side. Starts the drive. That ball is knocked away by Hudson and stolen by Henrietta. Rebels with their sixth turnover. Here's a drive down underneath. Kick back out. They're looking for a three. Hudson's going to penetrate. Now back around. Oh, faking the uh, three, driving in, pull up with the uh, shot, and it's no good. Gardner with another rebound. Charlie's got four boards here in the uh, first half. 3.48 to go before halftime. Rebels with it. Back again on the offensive end. Parker on the left wing. Dish back up. Proctor going to pull up from the free throw line. Shot is no good. Left that one short. Henrietta with the board. Here come the Knights. Greenhouse set up for three, and he hits it. Well, he is their leading scorer, and that was... He was set, ready to go on the uh, catch and shoot and drains it. Second three here. Got to watch out for Greenhaw. He can score a bunch if he gets hot. Parker, watch the defender go flying by. Passed up the shot. Gives back out to Gardner. Now to Proctor. Swing it back right side to uh, Parker. Bullet pass inside to Roberts who scores. Just another great feed. Roberts, second bucket. Coming back down, three on the, oh, he banked that one in. Hudson banks one in. Uh, a bank is open there, and might have been a little luck. The lead cut to 13, been three threes by uh, Henrietta. 
Parker's three misses that time. Roberts had the rebound, tried to toss it back out, but nobody home for the uh, Rebels as he was falling to the floor. 24 to 11. Henrietta has it back now as Cordell checks back in. 2.28 left before halftime. Rebels got off to a uh, sensational stone. Roberts had a steal and uh, just lost it and is called for the uh, foul. Nice hustle play by Hayden, but picks up the personal. That'll be his first personal. Rebels fourth. Henrietta has seven. And Sada will go to the line on the next Henrietta foul. In the bonus. Work it left side. Oh, there's a nice dish cutting to the basket and scoring that time is Hunter Gobin. Well, the uh, Knights starting to make some things happen offensively. Rebels lead has gone from uh, 20 to 11 now. Under two minutes to play in the first half. Here from the Kerr Center and Ada. Parker, dish left side. Proctor drives in, bumped, shoots and scores and a foul. Man, that, that, was, that was really good right there. Got the contact and was able to finish the shot from the baseline. Proctor has a chance at the conventional three-point play. With the minute 45 to go in the uh, first half, he hits the free throw. Rebels back up by 14. Knights with the basketball. Working left side. There's Greenhaw. He's got Cornell on him now. And uh, Hudson going to drain a three from out front this time. Well, that's four threes here. Henrietta has finally found the range a little bit. And they are back within 11. Four threes here in the quarter as the Rebels are going to turn it over. Seventh silo turnover. Rebels definitely not out of the woods because, uh, I mean, the uh, Henrietta can shoot the three well. They start to get hot, and they've hit four here in this third or this second period, and that three misses outside, though. Rebound inside by Greenhaw, though, an offensive rebound. I think that's the first offensive board they've had. Here's another three from the corner, and that's good. Hudson got open and drains a three, his third three of the period, and that's five trays for Henrietta now. Under a minute to go, Sidles lead down to just eight as Gardner has it out front. Rebels would like to play for the final shot here. Taylor passes over the left side. Trap coming. Pass intended for Cordell. Dives on the floor to save it. It's loose, and Cordell had it, and Coach Wild got a timeout to save the possession with 38 seconds to go here in the first half. 30-second timeout by the Rebels. Just the, uh, their first time out. Man, the game, the game lead is now eight now. I can't yeah. believe it. Yep, my, that was a uh, good job by uh, Coach Wild to get that uh, time out and save the uh, possession, or Henrietta was going to take it down and have a chance to get even closer. Well, that's what the three-pointer can do, and uh, Henrietta has caught fire here in the uh, third quarter, hit five of them from downtown. They were 0 for the uh, first quarter from three-point land. But the threes have got them back in it. Here's a steal in the backcourt. Greenhaw is stolen right back by Gardner. Charlie has it. Now wants to hold up, slipped and fell. Gets it off to Proctor, however, and Proctor drives in. He has his shot blocked and taken away by Henrietta. Knight's got it back once again. Working it inside, and there's a whistle and a foul called on the Rebels on the shot by Hudson. It's been Hudson and Greenhaw been the one-two punch here in the uh, second quarter. The foul went on Charlie. That's his second. Oh, no, they call it on Proctor, I guess. That's his second. So Hudson at the line. Free throws up and good. 
Nick Hudson now with 10 points to lead all scores with his three threes here in the quarter. 11 seconds to go in the first half. The silo lead is just seven. Rebels were up 22 to two. They've been outscored 18 to five since and make it 19 to five as he made them both. The lead is just six. Press applied, 10 seconds to go. Dr. Thomas, that pass is deflected and stolen. Another Rebel turnover there. And here comes Henrietta trying to get a last shot. Greenhaw at the buzzer misses as the Rebels, good defense there. Force a bad shot by Greenhaw, but uh, Henrietta rallies in the uh, second quarter, outscoring the uh, Rebels. 21 to 11. And uh, able to cut the lead here to uh, seven at, uh, or six at halftime. Looking at the uh, first half uh, numbers here for Silo, Carter Parker got off to the uh, fast start. He's got nine to lead Silo. Charlie Gardner with uh, five points as well. Four there for uh, Connor Proctor, four for uh, Hayden Roberts as well. And Connor Cordell has added two, as has Kaysen Taylor in the uh, first half. For uh, Henrietta, it's been Nick Hudson with 11. And then uh, Skyner Greenhaw with eight. That's 19 of their 21. The other two points coming from Hunter Gobin. It's been a one-two punch for Henrietta. And they were able to rally to cut the silo lead to six at halftime here from the Kerr Center. 21, or 27-21, our score at the half. We will go ahead and uh, take a break here at halftime. Be back with the uh, second half action coming up in about seven minutes here on SiloRebels.tv and across the uh, Squirtle Network.
Welcome back here at uh, halftime as we get ready to uh, start the uh, second half. Kevin Farr along with my main man, Asher. And Asher, a little bit nervous now? Yep. After that second quarter? Yeah, I mean, they came back a lot of points. Yeah. And what do the Rebels got to do here? Defense and shooting. Yep. That's what we always need. And, re and rebound. Got to pick the uh, defense back up a little bit uh, as... Henrietta was able to uh, score those 21 points in the last seven minutes of the uh, quarter. Now we're underway here in the uh, second half. The uh, three outside is no good that time. Loose ball on the rebound, and I don't think Proctor's going to be called for a uh, bump. Foul on the rebound there. Proctor's third foul. As Greenhaw dribbles out front, and we've got a foul called. And well, that's going to be the fourth on Proctor. Two quick ones on Connor. He's got four fouls now. He's going to have to check out. Oh, that took just 26 seconds. That was on a screen. It was called for the uh, foul. Connor said he was moving. But uh, didn't get the benefit of that call. So uh, Proctor has to check out as Daxter Thomas is in the game. Here's uh, a drive. Oh, that may have been a travel no call. Hudson for three is good. Well, Hudson with the three. And the lead is four. Hudson for three of the game. Picked up where he left off in that second quarter. Dr. Thomas feeds inside to Cordell. Cordell goes up, and it hangs on the rim and falls through. That's a good sign. And it just hung up there, and uh, we got a whistle, and well, Roberts is going to be called for a foul on the inbounds pass. Roberts picks up the uh, foul. Silo's lead is back to six. 6.49 to go here in the third. Drive. Hudson pulls up. Oh, that one rims out. No good. Rebound tapped out. Greenhaw in his hands for three is no good. Oh, man. Dodged the bullet there. Would have cut it in half. Gardner gets the rebound. Charlie has, has it in the front court now. Parker passed up the three that time. Gives off to Daxter on the right side. Now let's swing it back out front. That's a dangerous pass. Almost stolen. Now feed baseline. Gardner goes in. Off balance shot. No good. Gets his own rebound. Now falling down. Feeds to Roberts, who has it blocked inside. And the ball oh, out of bounds is going to be. Oh, now the officials are going to talk about it. Yep, it's going to, yep, it's going to Silo. It was off of Henrietta. Officials change the call. Give it back to the Rebels. I didn't think it was touched after it was blocked on the uh, shot. Here's a lob, and Roberts tracks it down. Gives back out front to Gardner. Charlie pull-up shot from just outside the free throw line is no good. Rebound is off to Henrietta. Oh, there's a steal by Daxter. Goes up and scores and a foul. Daxter again in the backcourt. Just like he did on Saturday. Thomas with the steal, and he's going to the line. A chance at the three-point play. Just got quick hands down there, Asher. Yeah. I have a feeling he's going to do good this game after that. The actor's free throw is good. Thomas with three here in the uh, third quarter. 
Ups the uh, silo lead now to nine. Big swing there. Could have been three on the last trip down for Henrietta. Here's Greenhaw trying to get open for three. He's got Thomas on him now on the baseline. Swing it back out to the front. Short has it. Gives off there to Hudson. Hudson looking to drive against Cordell. Back to Short. Short dribbles left side. Now three on the way this time, and it's no good from Gobin. Rebound is out of bounds off of Henrietta as uh, trying to save it was uh, Short there and took out one of the Henrietta cheerleaders in the process. Rebels with it back. Full court press applied. They get it ahead to Thomas. Daxter off to Roberts. Now back out. Parker fakes the three. Kick down. Right wing. Thomas. Nice feed. Cornell cutting to the basket and scores. Got the court spread and the Rebels with another outstanding pass. The lead back to double digits. As they have answered the run by Henrietta. Cordell just picked up his second foul. 5.07 to go here in the third quarter. Feeling a little better now, Asher? Yeah. We've been doing some pretty passes. Greenhaw dribbles down to the baseline. He's double teamed there. Toss it back out to Hudson. Now Hudson tries to get out. Oh, Greenhaw's open. Got him open for three, and he hits it. Hudson drew the defense. They left Greenhaw all by himself, and he drains the three, his third three of the contest. The lead back to eight now. Silo with it in the front court. Thomas, oh, nice pass. Gardner's shot is blocked, however. Off the feed from Thomas. Now Henrietta coming the other way, and they score in transition. Will Perez's first bucket of the game. Four-point swing there as uh, Gardner... Looked like he was going to get a layup, had it blocked. And Henrietta answers. Parker's shot just inside the free throw line is good. Carter in double figures with the 11. We're going end-to-end -end now. 4-10 to go here in the third quarter. Both teams heating up. That pass deflected by Thomas and stolen. Daxter's second steal this half. Cordell now toss back out to uh, Roberts. Feeds Cornell just outside the free throw line. Here comes a defender. Pass inside and scoring is Gardner. Oh, a defender was coming for the steal, but he got the pass to Charlie and the lead back to 10. Then momentum swings all over the place here in the past two quarters. Here's a drive down the baseline. Kick out. Short's taking a left-handed three. It's no good. Gardner, the only one there for the rebound. Charlie's going to dribble it up into the front court for Silo. Works it left wing. Cordell back out. Daxter's going to try a three. That one is no good from the right side. Tap by uh, Gardner is no good. Rebound to Henrietta. Breakaway pass on the other end. He missed the shot. Perez missed it inside. And a tie-up on the rebound. Parker got back defensively on the board as the Rebels rallied back after uh, Perez looked like he was going to have a breakaway. Great job defensively there, Asher, to get back on, on that layup attempt. Work it to Gardner. Dribbles into the front court, behind the back dribble. Now he's going to take it inside. Left-handed shot is no good. Short has the rebound. Left it short inside on the uh, shot attempt. Short dribbles up, picks it up. Now back, Jordan Short inside, and it's left-hand shot off the glass and in. Henrietta wants the timeout, 2.44 to go here in the third. Now the Knights coming right back. Should have been run after run, Asher. Yeah. That's... Man. So Henrietta gets the uh, two there. Silo had scored four in a row. Coach Johnson takes that timeout. 2.44 to go here in the third quarter. Silo with an eight-point lead. And they have the basketball. Proctor still on the bench with those four personal fouls.
Carter Parker has led the scoring with 11 thus far. Cordell gets it inbound into Parker. Henrietta working that full court pressure. Rebels work it to Thomas. Now across the Gardner. Charlie inside. Pull up shot and the paint is good. Ninth point for Gardner. The lead back to 10. Here comes Henrietta. Hudson kick out. Three on the way by Perez is good this time from the corner. That's the first three by Perez. And Sato's lead now at seven. Rebels have it in the front court. There's Thomas out front. Gives it off. Roberts starts to drive. Kick out. Now Cornell fakes the shot. Penetrates. Almost walked. Now the pass is stolen. Hudson taking it down. Doesn't have numbers, but he scores anyway in a foul. Oh, Hudson's going to the line. A chance at the uh, three-point play, and here comes the Henrietta run. Silo led 40-30. to 30. If Hudson can make this one, that is, that'll be six straight for the uh, Knights. Still a minute. 54 to go. He missed it. The lead is five. Rebels have the pass knocked out of bounds in front of the uh, silo bench. 148 remaining third quarter as Cason Taylor checks in the game. Inbounds pass goes Daxter Thomas. Left side, Thomas. Back out front to uh, Roberts. Now Parker starts to drive. He's going to hang in the air, and he has it shot blocked again by Short. Parker steals it as it looked like Greenhaw was going to take it down in transition, but Parker came back for the steal. Gets it right back for the Rebels. Thomas now around to Roberts. Now to Taylor left side. Back to Roberts. Rebels have, trying to spread the court a little bit more. Thomas back to Roberts. Now Cornell comes out to retrieve. They're trying to work Parker open. That pass in and out of the hands of Daxter and out of bounds. Henrietta has it back. A minute to go in the uh, third quarter. And the, in, or the uh, Knights turn it over. Now under a minute. Thomas dribbles right side of the paint. In traffic, goes up. Shot is blocked by Short, but rebound ends up in the hands of Case and Taylor. Kick out to Cordell, and there's a whistle and a trap. Austin Palmer back in for Henrietta. 44 seconds remaining here in the third. It's a five-point silo lead. Dishens, oh, that block by Taylor as it's rejected out of bounds. But a foul is going to be called on Gason. Might have got him with a little bit of the body. Looked like it was clean on the uh, shot. Austin Palmer will be at the line. Palmer has not scored today. And the free throw is good. Since first point. The Rebel lead is four. Gardner's checking back in for Case and Taylor. Here's the next one. It's no good. Roberts has the rebound. 40 to 36. Silo by four this trip. Here's Cornell. Down to Daxter on the base. Oh, they call a travel on him. And, oh. I don't know about that. Looked like he still had his pivot foot, didn't he, Ash? Yeah. 27 seconds to go. They call the uh, turnover on the travel. Give it back to Henrietta. Chance to cut the lead under four. Here's Greenhoff from the corner, and that three is no good. Gartner has the rebound with 16 seconds to go. Silo. Should have the final shot of the period. Ten seconds. Gardner across to Roberts. Now Roberts, double team. 
Gives it back to Charlie. Five seconds, going to have to hurry. Back out. Parker's going to have to take a long three, and it's no good as the horn sounds. That one came from about 28 feet. Imagine he drained that, too. But Parker's three is no good as the end of the uh, third quarter. Sato with a four-point lead. They led by six at halftime. Outscored by two in that quarter. As long as they're uh, not outscored by more than uh, three in this next quarter, it should be all right, Asher. Yeah. So the uh, Rebels take a four-point lead into the final period. It's been, uh, it was all Rebels through the first, uh, all silo through the first nine minutes of the game as... They were up 18 to nothing, but then uh, Henrietta has answered. Going to be uh, Henrietta basketball here to start the uh, fourth quarter. Final period. Drive, and Hudson's going to score on the drive down the uh, left side of the uh, lane. Hudson scores the uh, bucket. This is as close as the Knights have been. And a steal, a steal. As they bring it down, shot by Greenhaws, no good. Had some contact, but no call. Roberts the rebound, long pass down to Gardner, and there's gonna be a foul called on Hudson. Foul call on Hudson there, 7.28 to go. Inbounds goes to Cornell. Now Roberts baseline. Feed Daxter underneath. Head fake, and he drew the defender who went flying by, and Thomas scores. Five points for Daxter, and the Rebel lead is back to four. That's a great head fake to draw the uh, defender into the air. Now Henrietta has it. Silo working out of that matchup zone. Dribbling on the left side is Hudson. Back out, short, open for three, and that one is short. Left it short off the front of the iron, and Greenhaw could not get the rebound. Rebels did a good job blocking out that time, Asher. Yeah, man. We just need to keep the, like, shooting all those layups, and we could be fine. We're right in this situation. Mm. Well, we'll, see, we'll see if they uh, spread the court again here and uh, work for those... Uh, Open cuts to the uh, basket, which were so effective in the first half. Here's Gardner, feed down to the baseline. Parker three from the corner is no good. Rebound off to Hudson for uh, Henrietta, and he's tied up by Gardner inside. Possession arrow in favor of Silo. It's going back to the Rebels here with 6.31 to play. And a four-point lead. Thomas inbounds. There's Parker, catch and shoot. Three is good! Bang a ring. From the corner. Parker's third three gives Silo a seven point lead now. Feed inside, short shot off the glass and is good. As Henrietta comes right down and answers. They work it inside to the big guy who scores. Six minutes to go, five point lead. Daxter Thomas fires across. Cornell thought about the three, now feeds to Gardner, just inside the free throw line. He shoots and scores. Charlie now with 11. Seesaw back and forth. And an offensive foul, and guess who? Connor Cornell. Connor Cornell. The charge king inside himself takes the charge. Coach Johnson can't believe it. Stands with his uh, arms held out to his side. Cornell takes the charge as the uh, foul went on Nick Hudson. That's his fourth. Rebels work it down. Daxter, oh, oh, he called for a turnover again. 
Oh, and Coach Mile wants a timeout. Same official as Daxter was called. Never moved his pivot foot the first a while ago. And he's called for a travel again there. And Coach Wow, he is not happy. He is right up in the official's face here. As the official tells him to go back to the bench. And Coach Wow is, he is not happy, Asher. No, that, that's a dumb call right there. <laughs> well, a tough call there as they call a travel. And for the second time, as I got a wonder about as it looked like he still had his pivot foot once again just like before same official made the call and calls the turnover on Thomas 540 to go Rebels coming out of the end timeout see I think they have three timeouts remaining here in the uh, contest seven point lead Trying to stay alive here in the Class 3A area tournament. As the Rebels fall back in the uh, zone. Henrietta is going to roll it up to save some time. Hudson will pick it up just outside half court. Now he dribbles right side. Feeds off there to Greenhaw. Greenhaw. Now pass back out, three on the way, and it's no good. Rebound saved by Perez into the hands of Greenhaw, who uh, just inside the lane, kick out, shorts three is no good. Rebound inside, Roberts has it, he trips, and officials, the official looked outside, it was right in front of him, and then he finally signals for Henrietta. I don't know why he didn't make the call in the uh, first place. And the Knights are going to turn it over. Five seventeen to go. Silo has it back with a seven-point lead. Rebels work it to our right side there. Roberts, now they swing it down underneath. Daxter's hammered, and he's going to the line. Oh, he's called for a travel. Oh, my. Oh, no, 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 no. The other official had a foul. He's calling a foul. One official called travel. Well, you can't have two simultaneous calls, a travel and a foul. We saw simultaneous charges and block in the game last week, and the foul is going to count. The foul is going to count before the uh, turnover. Coach Johnson is livid about it, but Baxter was hammered, and he's going to the line as the foul went on Jordan Short. Third foul there. Thomas free throws good. Now we've got a whistle, and... I think Coach Johnson's going to be warned instead of uh, technical here. As he is still giving the official an earful. Eight-point silo lead, five minutes to play. Here's the next one from Thomas. It's no good. We got a whistle, and it's going to be a foul on Henrietta on the rebound. Well, Coach Johnson's not going to like that one. Neither are the Knight fans, as Short has called for the uh, foul again, and that's his fourth. So uh, Cornell came away with the rebound. The foul was called on short. Rebels inbounding. Five minutes to go. Thomas, feet inside. Gardner underneath, goes up, shoots, and misses underneath. Oh, right underneath the basket. Couldn't get it to fall. I think he was expecting contact. It didn't come because short had to be careful because it was had four fouls, and Cornell's called for his third foul there, and that'll be the seventh. Seventh foul on uh, the Rebels. We'll shoot free throws as Henrietta is in the bonus. 4.57 to go as Kyler Proctor checks back in. He's missed most of the second half with those four fouls. Here's Short's free throws. Good. Jordan Short, this is third point of the game. 4.57 remaining. Here's the next one, and it's good. 
Cuts the lead to six. Silo with a six-point lead. Under five minutes remaining. Cordell dribbling into the backcourt. Going to fire it up to uh, Parker. Swing it back out. Cordell has it now. Here comes the double team. And starts to dribble, and a foul's going to be called on Henrietta, reaching in. That's going to be just the sixth team foul on the Knights. First foul on Greenhaw. So Silo with a six-point lead here. They've got the basketball inbounding in front of their bench. Cordell triggers it in to Gardner. Charlie dribbles to the left side of the lane. Kicks back out to Proctor. Proctor's got Hudson on him, starting to drive, and a foul is whistled, and uh, it's going to be one and one. Proctor's going to the line, as actually it was Perez, and Perez could not stay in front of Connor Proctor. Rebels had the mismatch, and Proctor was heading toward the basket, and is fouled. One and one coming up for Connor. Rebels need to make these free throws. Critical free throws down the stretch. As that shot misses, but the Rebels get the offensive rebound. Man, let's go. We just made a shot and got fouled too. Yes, he makes it. He has the three-point play right here. Foul was called on Will Perez as uh, Connor Cornell will shoot free throws now. As uh, Cornell at the line, and his free throw's good. So Cornell with the uh, score there. Three-point play, Rebels have a three point or a nine point lead now. Here's a steal by Proctor. Proctor with the steal. Rebels have it with a nine point lead. Under four minutes to go and we got a foul on Henrietta. Well, the uh, Knights got it within four. But Silo has had the answer since. And Proctor will go to the line. 3.53 to go, and the free throw's no good. Couldn't get it to fall. That was too long off the back of the rim. Henrietta has it back. That one would have made it a double-digit lead with under four to go. Greenhall hangs in the air and scores for the Knights. Greenhall has been pretty quiet here in the second half. That gives him 13 for the game. Lead back to seven. Here's a pass down in the corner to uh, Parker. Dribbles back out. Knight's still in that zone defense. Kind of surprised the uh, Rebels haven't uh, tried to spread the floor a little bit more and get them out of the uh, zone and try to take advantage of some mismatches here. It's just 324 to play. Inbounds goes to Proctor. Now back to Gardner. Charlie's going to penetrate. Pull up shot in the paint and hits. Another nice pull up shot by Gardner. Charlie now with 13 for the contest. Back to nine on the lead. 3.08 to play. There's a near steal by Daxter. Saved by Short. Drives in the paint. Throws up a left-handed runner and hits it. So Short with the left-handed runner in the paint. Cuts the lead to seven. Henrietta with the timeout. 3.02 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Still nervous, Asher? Eh, not as much. <laughs> Rebels still not out of the woods. Don't forget, uh, Henrietta, they can, they can hit threes in a hurry. We saw three-point shooting barrage back in the uh, second quarter when they hit five in almost succession. Silo up seven. Rebels just need to take care of the basketball and make their free throws down the stretch here. Mm -hmm. 
keys to success here in the final three minutes as Silo with a seven-point lead. Henrietta is going to come out in that full court pressure once more. Parker to inbound it. He will to Cordell. Now Cordell's going to bounce it ahead to Proctor. They've got numbers. Two on one. Feeds Gardner inside. Goes up and hits the bucket. Had the two on one in transition as they broke the press. Charlie with 15 now. The Rebel lead is nine. Here's a three, or nope, they'd say it's two on the line. Greenhaw makes it on the uh, shot there. Cuts the lead back to seven. Two and a half minutes to go. And oh, here's a turnover and a steal. Short comes up with a loose ball. Short to Greenhaw. Watch out. He drives, kick out. Here's a three up uh, from the uh, right wing. It's no good. Loose ball is deflected into the hands of Hudson. Hudson drives in for Henrietta, kick out. Now Short's trying to three, and that one is no good. And another long rebound to Greenhaw. Oh, a couple of big offensive rebounds for Henrietta. Rebels have uh, not come up with the board. Pass across the defense. That's dangerous. Almost stolen by Gardner, but saved. Short has it now, spins inside. Oh, he hits the shot and is fouled. Oh, my. That looked like a prairie threw up after the contact, but he makes it to cut the lead to five. Proctor fouls out on the play with 155 remaining. Knight's still not done as uh, Short is at the line trying to finish off a three-point play and cut this lead to four. And the free throw is no good. He couldn't finish it off. Rebels have it back after the Gardner rebound. Parker in the front court. Minute 45 left here in the fourth quarter. Gardner dribbles out front. Knight's coming to trap. Feeds off Cordell. Now to Roberts. Feed to uh, Parker. Dribbles back out. Run some more time off. Minute and a half to go. Gardner dribbles left side of the lane. Feed underneath to Daxter. Daxter outside and shoots and scores. Took a dribble from underneath the basket and scores underneath. Big shot by the freshman. Man, man, Daxter is going off this game. Seven point lead. The three misses. Short rebound inside and Gardner fouls him on the putback try. Rebels are now getting victimized by the offensive rebounds of uh, Henrietta down the stretch here. And Short will go to the free throw line. Jordan Short, he's got seven points today and make it eight. 112 remaining. The lead now at six. One more to come for Short, and it's no good. It's no good, the rebound, and it's out of bounds off of Silo. Oh, about the worst thing you could have happen for the Rebels right there as Gardner had inside position, but it goes off of Charlie and out of bounds. Inbounds goes to Green. Huh? Three from the corner is no good. Ooh, big rebound there by Connor Cordell. Gives off to Daxter in the backcourt. Daxter double team. Gives it up to uh, Cornell. Now across the midcourt line. Swinging back out front to Gardner. Under a minute to play. Rebels, six-point lead. Less than a minute to go. Cornell feeds caught Thomas underneath. Dexter scores on the lay-in. It's an eight-point lead with 44 seconds to go. Another great pass. Thomas has 10. That is a uh, season high. Three for Henrietta is no good. Roberts has the rebound. Rebels up eight. Down. Cornell layup is good. The Rebels by ten. And they're going to win it. Henrietta with the three is no good. Roberts has the board. And he is tied up there. Live to play another day, Asher. Yeah. Survive in advance is the uh, key in the playoffs, and the uh, Rebels have done it today, and they will play again tomorrow. Cornell with the steal of the inbounds. 
Feeds ahead to uh, Roberts. He's just going to dribble out the clock. Rebels are going to win it. 61-51 over Henrietta. And they will play again tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. here at the Kerr Center. A big fourth quarter offensively. Silo scores 21 points in the fourth quarter led by Actually, Dexter Thomas was the leader in the uh, fourth there. Thomas ends up scoring 10 points for the uh, game all in the second half. As we look at the uh, final scoring numbers here this afternoon, Charlie Gardner ends up with 15. Uh, 14 points there for uh, Carter Parker. Connor Cornell had a nice game as well. He scores nine Four points for Cotter Proctor, who set out most of the uh, second half in foul trouble. Four points as well for Hayden Roberts and two for Kaysen Taylor in the uh, contest. But another uh, big performance by the freshman Daxter Thomas down the stretch, Asher. Yeah, man. That was crazy. Daxter, that was his best game he yeah, ever had that, the whole year. That, Daxter, your star of the game today? Yeah, he, he probably played the best. He didn't have the most points, but... He played the best at pretty much everything. Yeah, big second half by uh, Thomas helps uh, spur the Rebels. Two victories, 61-51 over Henrietta. The uh, Knights were led in scoring by uh, Nick Hudson. Ends up with 18 to lead the way for Henrietta, who ends the season at 16-9. Silo now 19-10 on the season. They will play again 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon here at the Kerr Center. It'll be Silo against the winner of tonight's game between Hugo and Oak Mogi. Might be a rematch with Hugo tomorrow for a berth in the Consolation Championship and a trip to the state on Saturday night. So that's going to about do it for the uh, broadcast here this afternoon. We'll be back on tomorrow. We've got a doubleheader tomorrow, Asher. Yeah. The boys game at 3 p.m. Silo against the uh, Hugo Okmogi winner. And then 6 o'clock is the area championship game as it'll be the uh, Silo Lady Rebels and Bethel in that contest, 6 o'clock tomorrow night. We'll have them both for you here on SiloRebels.tv coming up tomorrow and across the Squirtle Network. So for my main man, Asher, I'm Kevin Farr saying so long from the Kerr Center in Ada where the Rebels win 61-51.